month and I are gonna go do some shopping so we can teach you guys how to do some cooking. Stay tuned. So guys, as you can see, I'm picking out like the best they can find in a 99 cent store. They actually have some pretty good things here. Look at this. Parmesan cheese for 99 cents. We want some spinach. My mushrooms. Welcome to DIY with moi and today we're going to be doing some cooking. Now, if you were a guy or a girl and you just met that special person, that person that you were really excited to go out with, maybe you met this person on Tinder, maybe you met this person at a club, maybe you met this person at a bar, maybe you met this person hiking, who knows? The thing is, everybody needs to, to eat, right? And then you want to impress that person and you're like, what could be fun to do together? and you decide to do some cooking together. So today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make pizza on a French bread. So here are the pizzas that we're gonna to make today. Ham and pineapple, which is delicious. I love Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, they kind of do something like that. They do it a little cuter. You know, I'm not Hawaiian and Brazilian, but you get the point. Pepperoni, bacon and egg, spinach, corn and mushrooms, and chicken. Second thing that I think it's very important to do is to get all the ingredients ready. Mm. Cheers. Of course you want to have, you know, your hands clean. We are cooking on a budget and we're making a chicken pizza. I already happened to have a chicken in my refrigerator and I didn't want to buy a new chicken. So what I did, I had a rotisserie chicken. What I did, I just grabbed my chicken and just cut it in nice little pieces, put it together here with my pepperoni. And that's what we're going to use to make our pizza together with our bacon and our eggs that are cooking right now. Salty it with some butter on the same oil that we cooked, you know, the bacon, so it tastes delicious. So, guys, after you cut all your vegetables and your meat and you spread them on a little piece of paper, I usually use one plate just for my vegetables, another plate just for my meat, my cheeses. And I want to tell you guys something I'm using three types of cheeses I'm using mozzarella with cheddar, I'm using parmesan cheese. And also this fine, nice little cheese called Cotija because Amanda is turning me into a very fine Mexicana. It's time to roll another joint so you can have the munchies. lighter and that's not so red because I only use two tomatoes in here. I don't like that much my pizza tasting too much like tomato. I only like the moistness of it. 
but I don't like that tomato heavy taste. So, okay, so we have the tomato sauce in there. It looks really delicious. You know, the reason why I don't like to use tomato, tomato is look, you have all this leftover. But if you make a pasta, like tomorrow when you buy yourself and you want to cook a pasta or something, you can use this, you know, it's all about being economical, times are hard, too many people starving, so you don't want to waste. So the first thing that we're going to put on the bread after we put our tomato sauce are the cheeses. So you get the mozzarella, the blend of mozzarella, here, and dress your bread, all the holes, you know, with the cheese, because the more, I'm a cheese free, so the more cheese you put, mm, the better it will taste. Bread in there, cheese in the bread, I put bread and cheese. Yeah. You guys are going to notice that I change the words a lot, because I'm Brazilian. And I know why, why, hey, because I got hot, because I got hot. Because I got high. La, da, 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 da. You know, if you're on a date and you have an accent, it's just make things cuter for you so it's all in your advantage. Don't even worry about it. Look, we got exactly the right amount of cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. So good. Cheese. So we got the mozzarella and the cheddar. Now, we're gonna do the bacon and egg pizza. So we're gonna put a little bit of bacon in here. I like to cut my vegetables and my meats very, very small pieces because you know like sometimes you go eat, at the, you feel like your mouth grabs too much. I like tiny little bites. You got the egg and the bacon in there. And you dress up with the egg. Here, see how that looks cute? Now we're gonna put a little bit of uh, cotija cheese on top. Mm. And a little bit of parmesan. Why not? It's gonna make it taste very delicious. Since we're not vegetarian, we are going to add some bacon. You can also, if they are vegetarian, you can substitute the bacon for the corn. And just put some corn in here. That looks so good. Ooh, I think this one's gonna be my favorite. So now we're gonna do cheese and chicken. We get the chicken that we already cut it. Put it in these pieces right there. To me, it looks like it's missing something. Since everybody likes mushroom, go ahead and put some mushroom in there. Why not? If you want, you can put some bell peppers on it. Give it some color. Boom. Chicken is ready. Now we're gonna do ham and pineapple. Ham. We have the pineapple right here in this little container. I think I should have cut my pineapples a little bit more thinner, but it's going to work. You don't want them too thick. Spinach, corn, and mushroom. Cotia. 
Ja. A little bit of parmesan. Now, these are the pizzas that we said that we are gonna make. They all look delicious. We have two extra breads, right? And remember that garlic that we sauteed earlier? You get the garlic and you just like mince it in on top of whichever pizza that you like. I wanna do in a vegetarian one. And the chicken one, chicken with garlic, so good too. Oh my God. You just put the garlic in there. I think I'm even gonna put a little bit of garlic on the bacon and egg pizza. There. Now, we're gonna ask Amanda. Amanda, which are these pizzas should we repeat? Choose two flavors. Which one looks good for you? So Amanda liked the bell pepper cheese. And which one? Pineapple and ham. Pineapple and ham. There's one last thing that you can put if you like which is something called parsley. I like parsley. So we're just gonna put it in, in some pizza. Just put in some of them. Not all, not every pizza goes with garlic parsley. I like it for the color, love the colors together. You can go ahead and use some oregano to bring out the Italian flavor. Actually, I made a mistake, guys. You don't put oregano on your ham and pineapple pizza unless you like it i like it i'm gonna don't like it so she's gonna have to eat it with it because she didn't tell me that before now we're ready we're gonna put this in the oven to cook for about mm, i would just say like you check back in 10 minutes and see if the cheese is melted that's a good indication that it's ready so our pizza, it's finally ready. Let's take a look. Oh my God, look at that. That looks delicious. We're gonna cut everything down and we're gonna try it and let you know which one tastes better. Okay guys, so we're done making the pizza and Amanda is going to be our bait. She's Ooh. gonna let us know <laughs> which one is delicious. Yo yo! Alright. This one first. This one. So she's eating the one with spinach, corn, and mushrooms. I'm gonna do the egg and, and, and bacon. This one's unexpectedly sweet because of the corn, but it's really good. Mm. It was a nice balance. Good job. One point for spinach and corn and mushrooms. I'm having over here egg and bacon. And it's really good. Mmm. She just had the bell peppers. Bell peppers, corn, and mushrooms. I love bell peppers. She said, I love bell peppers. Coke, you can always sponsor us, you know. I'd make a badass sponsor. Yeah. Mmm. It's so good, guys. This would make a fun day tonight. So now, all you guys gonna do is put a movie on and enjoy your pizza. And that's Blake and Chew. With or tell them to shut the f up and eat all the pizza. <laughs> This program is brought to you by High Tide Entertainment.